Hi, I'm Julian Frost, N3J for the Ham Radio Outlet, and we have here the Yesu FTM 500, fresh from Japan. Let's take a look. So I have here the uh, FTM 200 and the FTM 500, and you can see the screen is so much larger on the FTM 500, of course it is touch sensitive. So the control head of course is removable, as is the microphone. So we'll take the microphone off. You can see there's a little button here which I'm going to press, and then the head just pops off like so. On the inside, you can see a place where you can, if you so wish, you can plug the microphone into the body instead. I think for most of us we probably want to keep it plugged into the head so it just goes into the socket right here. Then of course you can buy a separation cable to separate the head from the body even further. Okay, so this radio is so new, this is the first time it's been turned on. Let's see what happens. Okay, please enter your call sign, maximum 10 letters, press the function knob. Now this is the function knob right here. So let's see. Okay, let's put in my call sign. N. Let's go down here to numerals. Three. J, F, long press, there we go, it's going to reboot, there we go. So on the back here, of course we have your antenna connector, fan to help keep things cool, you have your A and B band speaker outputs, and a 10-pin uh, DIN plug for data like APRS or other data services. On the side we have this slot here and it's on the other side as well. What that slot allows us to do is to install this rather cool bracket here. You can install it on the top or on the bottom. You just slide it in and it locks in place. So very quick release. You see it has a button here for releasing it and off it comes. And again you can have that on the top or on the bottom. At the front of the radio we have four main dials here. The uh, function, subdial, the other subdial and the volume. And of course the tuning knob is right here. And then we have the programmable memory groups here, the VFO memory button, the band switch button, and the back button for when we go into the menus. On the top we have some buttons here for the digital modes. SDX, this radio is so new, I haven't even seen the manual yet, so I don't know what that stands for. This looks like it will switch between the bands, the top band and the bottom band, which indeed it does. And then display button, I assume it has something to do with the display. Ah, it switches between the uh, uh, band scanning function here and the lower band. And of course the on off button. The microphone feels pretty good in the hand. It is backlit. Uh, kind of hard to see back here, but it has a white backlight on there. It has four uh, programmable function buttons. A mute button so you can quickly turn off any noise in the background, like so. And of course the up-down buttons on the top. So a quick click of the function button brings us to some of the menus here. And the screen is touch sensitive. Instead of putting fingerprints all over it, I'm just going to scroll using the button here. Or the dial, I should say. So let's try and set a repeater here. 
Uh, one of the local repeaters is 145 400. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if we press the screen here, we can do it by touching, but it's better if I show you here. 145, oops, uh, 400. There we go. Now if we press the function button, we can set the squelch type through all the different versions of um, squelch available. So we can do tone encode. The tone type is actually 103.5, so we can leave that as it is. Go back. Now we can use the microphone again. N3JF. And there we go. We're into the repeater. Let's try another one. Let's go to uh, 147, 8, 5, 5, and let's do the tone of 100. Let's go back here. Let's see if we can hit the repeater. N3JF. Okay, so we can see how easy it is just to program in a new repeater. So what I've done is I've programmed in a uh, System Fusion repeater local to us. And here are some guys chatting on the repeater. And uh, but there's a whole new worry. You worry about him creating a crash going there and this and that. But uh, yeah, the days of sitting around waiting and having to, well, for me, it was a pain taking to school in the morning. But anyway, yeah, it's definitely going to be different once she starts driving. And uh, yeah, the other two were the same way. So there we are, System Fusion seems to work quite well. So let's go into the menu settings here. Do that by long pressing the function button. And let's see if I can get that in focus and a little less bright here. So you can see all the settings here. It looks like there's one continuous menu. Oh, let's go back a little bit. So we went from the display configuration, to transmit configuration, to receive configuration, to memory configuration, configuration configuration? Sure, why not? Lots of things you can change. Now you can change the audio settings, the various signals like uh, signal type and signal frequency, uh, scanning modes, digital setup, Wires X setup, data information, APRS setup. Let's keep scrolling through here, it's a lot. SD card information so you can back up your settings. Various options. For cloning. And then all your reset, so you can reset it to factory. So 127 different settings. So here we are in a local two meter repeater. Let's turn the volume up here. Because my neighbors are nervous about how much money they owe. Uh, I looked at their bill, their bill is over. And one thing to remember is that this radio actually has the AESS system in there, so you can adjust the ratio between the front and rear speakers to give you a, uh, uh, an audio quality that you most enjoy listening to. So there you go, that's your very brief look at the Yesu FTM 500, which is the replacement to the FTM 400, and it's a good replacement. The screen is very bright and very sharp. It has a very good tactile feel for the, uh, uh, the touch sensitivity. Uh, it doesn't push in like the capacitive screen on the previous versions. To change functions that are very frequently used, like for the tone for a repeater, on the FTM 400, it was a long press here, multiple presses, different menus, and so on. Here, very quick press on the function button, dial it in, and you're all set and good to go. So, 
the Yesu FTM 500 from Yesu. It's a great radio and I think you'll enjoy it. 